It's eight days to Christmas, and the spotlight today is on the buying patterns of Nigerians amidst the high cost of goods, rising inflation, amongst other issues. Christmas is a season. Many go out to get gifts for family and friends. But over the past months, rising inflation is said to have put a lull to that. Joining me to discuss via Zoom is a financial analyst, Olusha Elemo. Thank you very much for joining me at this point. Now, like I said earlier, Christmas is the season for merrymaking, for giving out of gifts and all of that. But at this point, in your own view, how would you rate the spending patterns of Nigerians looking at the fact that inflation has happened on goods and services over time? Thank you very much uh, for that question. And I'm happy to join you this morning. Um, I, I think the uh, situation speaks for itself. Uh, in that, uh, yes, the headline inflation may be going down as uh, uh, the NBS, National Bureau of Statistics, uh, continue to put the data out. But you, know, you and I know that the food inflation, you know, uh, has, you know, increasingly gone up over the last couple of months. Mm. And uh, truly, the purchasing power has been eroded. The disposable income of the average Nigerian has been affected and uh, you know the impact of COVID-19 uh, as regards how uncertain things have been uh, over the last couple of months. For instance, there have been restrictions, you know, to uh, that has affected imports. There's been lots of um, issues that have affected local production. Uh, many of the food products that ordinarily should have been produced locally. Uh, we are having to import them because of insecurity, and that has also jacked up prices in the market. Uh, you know, uh, there's there has not been. I mean, uh, the minimum wage uh, is, is certainly has been eroded, and, and not many people, uh, you know, especially civil servants, will be able to afford much at this time, mm -hmm. because what what was uh, you know the prices of things uh, last year, this time last year. You know, uh, we probably have you know uh, some significant uh, amount of money that has that has gone up to to those to those prices, and then you know uh, even the larger populace uh, you know are you know you know uh, unemployed. So mm -hmm. so when you look at you know the unemployment rate, the fact that people do not even have jobs to be able to get money uh, and then you know uh, make Christmas good for themselves, and then those who have jobs. You know, their income has now been affected due to a number of factors, like I mentioned, inflation, insecurity, and the virus. Uh, I think uh, Christmas really is going to be humbling for many. Yeah, well, in all of this now, uh, where do we go from here? Because uh, just last night I was asking um, a family member of mine that uh, about the price of um, a carton of chicken. And it went for almost about 20,000 naira. We know that before Christmas it might increase. In the coming years, how do we ensure that prices of goods do not increase sporadically? Rather, we should have a situation whereby the prices will even come down. Yeah, I think if we're able to scale local production of some of these items and depend less on imports, uh, then we might have a situation where, uh, you know, uh, some of these products become relatively affordable. But uh, even scaling local production is dependent on a number of factors. We need to look at uh, the, how the environment is stimulated to facilitate local production. We need to look at the issue of insecurity. We need to look at the investments you know, that government is even putting into infrastructure. Uh, for instance, how power is affecting local production, how transportation is affecting local production, mm. and, and all the likes. For instance, now, uh, you, you, you will agree with me that even some of the items that we produce locally, maybe farm produce and all of that, uh, not many of those uh, products that come out of the farms get into the market. Many of them, you know, perish in transit. And that also affects, you know, prices of commodities. And then again, is that why we do not, you know, advocate for a regulated market, we want, you know, a market that regulates itself. But government also has responsibility to ensure standards and to ensure, you know, that prices do not, you know, arbitrarily go up. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the culture of human beings generally, not just Nigerians, 
But human beings generally is that where there is less mon monitoring, where there is less supervision, people tend to take, uh, you know, things, uh, you know, uh, use discretion uh, to, to, especially when it comes to prices of commodities. And, and this is where government should, you know, ordinarily come in, you know, maintain standards and ensure that prices, you know, remain within borders. I think if we're able to put all of these, uh, you know, factors in place, then we might have a situation where, uh, you know, not necessarily control prices of commodities, but, you know, ensure that there's proper monitoring and regulation. But how has the, um, how do I put it, how has the CBN's um, policies and all the policies of government affected pricing in the country? You see, what CBN has done uh, over the last uh, few years is to provide some sort of uh, light interventions mm. uh, to, to, to the agricultural sector. And ordinarily, if we had gone by the investment of CBN in the agricultural sector, uh, and that has, if that has translated to you know, some level of impact in terms of farm produce and all of that, Perhaps this should have also reflected in the prices of commodities in the market, but I I, I foresee because even CBN recently, you know, has been having challenges recovering some of the facilities, some of the loans that it gave out under the anchor borrower scheme, uh, and then it goes to show that those who took the loans, those who took the grants, or I mean the, the facilities, uh, did not necessarily put those monies into agriculture. Uh, and if they put the money into agriculture, perhaps there was, you know, uh, some negative impact mm. uh, in that regard. Mm. Uh, and and in the end, is that whatever CBN's intervention may have been, did not translate to, you know, uh, reduction in prices of, of food in the market. All right, financial analyst, uh, Olisha Guelemo, thank you so much for talking to us on this. Thank you for having me.